Airport Simulator 2015, the riveting sequel to 2014. Let's go ahead and complete another career mission. This time we've unlocked the Follow Me Taxi, which is going to be pretty interesting. Something new to the game, so let's go check that out. We've got to remove snow on the runway first off, so let's do that because that's at least what it's telling me to do anyway. I don't know why because first off we've got the follow me in the mission log, but that's alright. Whatever the game tells me, we've got of course that one obligatory vehicle that's just jutting out very dangerously, no less. Imagine, uh, you know what, I'm surprised that it hasn't been like a, oh god. Hasn't been like an OH and S simulator or something like that. I don't know what the hell just happened. I think, yeah, okay, because I've got a, um, I'm using dual monitors. I must have clicked on the second screen, so this game doesn't limit your mouse to go just on the one screen when you're playing, which is kind of bad, but because things like that can happen. That's alright. I like the way that these uh, windscreen wipers work, though. Very cool indeed. So let's turn this vehicle on. Actually, no. I thought the um, vehicle actually works faster with the uh, engine on, like the uh, front engine on. Thought it was driving a little bit quicker, but alas, that was just a lie. It doesn't. So let's get back this down to zero. That was fairly simple. Please. There we go. End the mission. Thank you. Ooh. Achievement unlocked. A bronze snow cleaner. Alrighty, that's exciting. So, this follow me. Here we go. Now, I wonder how fast this car goes. And also, I do wonder... We've got 11 minutes left, so... Uh, we don't want to go here. I want to go to garage. I wonder if we're able to actually upgrade these vehicles mid-mission. So if we go to the follow me car, upgrade that, and we can't upgrade it anymore, so um, what do we do now? Mission map, yeah, okay. Mission map takes us back to the game, thankfully. Um, where are we going? We need to go to the right hand side, I can see that yellow little glowing thing, so let's take this sharp corner. Ooh. Thankfully, we can pretty much drift around like crazed madmen around here. Very cool. And I guess we're going to be leading this small plane. Not the smartest to go right behind the plane like that. It's ta only taxing, thankfully, but still. We're playing with death over here, aren't we? So let's try to line this. Whoa, that's not a good idea. Thankfully, we didn't get a damage uh, bonus or penalty. It's not really a bonus, though, is it? Then again, it could be a bonus. could be seen as one because we get to play the game a little bit more. Because you need to get more money to go ahead and unlock different things. So, drive through the markers one by one. Oh, and the plane is following us. What happens if I... Oh, okay. If I stay still, it stays still as well. That's pretty funny. But like, not only does it stay still, it literally just stops. Like, look at this. <laughs> I guess it wasn't that bad, but... Alright, let's keep driving. How fast does this guy get up to? 55... 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, no, is it miles? Yeah, it is miles, because the kilometers are down below, so we're going about 90 kilometers an hour. Oh, I wouldn't say it really feels like it, but I'll take it. Feels like we're going a lot slower. Then a quick 90, and where do we go now? Oh, that's done. Simple enough. Got a nice little vehicle bonus. Okay, into the next mission. Alright, so at the moment we've got... We can do this one. Here we go. Crew mission 9, which is also new, is it? We've got these loading vehicles, but it, does, it seems like this little picture doesn't align with the required ground service, so... Not sure what's going on there. So, let's go with the follow me vehicle yet again, which is down here. 
course we've got to go drive to the corresponding aircraft which is going to be pretty much in the same spot over and over again isn't it still further down I guess those glare effects are pretty decent I guess they could sort of uh, blind you yeah, the models of the vehicles are good at least like I'll give them that like there's a variety of different vehicles which I like I like simulation games because there's a variety of things oh See guys, see guys that um that lightning oh here we go They're like squiggly white lights it's like someone drew them up in paint microsoft paint or something like that and just stuck them on as a png file into the game alrighty let's help a fellow brother out Drive straight forward. I guess we're helping him taxi into a terminal, aren't we? Not to go to a runway, I'd assume, anyway. Have to wait and find out. Where is he? Oh, here he is behind us. Air Force One gaining on us. It definitely is gaining on us. And now it's like slowed down to our speed, thankfully. Oh. Best to be paying attention to the road, isn't it? Here we go. We're going right next to this other guy. Oh, and look at that. We've got a lot of our brothers in arms, these vehicles. That should be that done, hopefully. Yes. Uh, now we've got fuel. So that is down here and here. Oh, and look at that. The plane is just right around the corner. Thankfully, we did the follow me first. I wonder what would happen if we did the fuel section of things first. Don't think they would have liked that, to be honest. Wouldn't have let us continue, I don't think. So thankfully, I didn't waste too much time there. Could have been much worse. All right. Damn it, need to angle myself much better than this. There we go. We shut that in like that. Oh, like that. Twist. Do the twisteroo. Do the twisteroo. Now we play the waiting game. And it should hopefully be loaded up. It seems like it doesn't change, like, from storm and day to night at all, really. Like, I loaded it up. I've been playing for half an hour. It's still night and it's still stormy, so. Stormy as ever. XP to next rank, 250, so I guess one or two more missions. In the meantime, we've unlocked the AC GPU. The ground power unit is a vehicle capable of supplying power to aircraft parked to the ground. Alright, well, before we get into that too much, let's go upgrade some vehicles. Confirm. And what should we do? Go back to a different vehicle that we have available to us we'll go with the jet bridge might as well oh wait we don't have enough money 1900s here we go beautiful got the refueler so career overview sorry mission map is where we want to be and final boarding call let's take that before they um disappear but what I just realized is that that doesn't give us any XP though, does it? Allow 660 passengers to board. Question is, how many have we allowed to board so far? That's a good question. Who knows? Alright, uh, let's go on to the snow clearance mission. And we'll try to get back into the um, career missions as quickly as we possibly can instead of just these random ones because these random ones there's no real point of doing them unless like you need the money or something like that because i don't think they give you the experience points do they we need to have a closer look and evaluate our options and next up we've got fuel all to do in 10 minutes very very liberal with the amount of time they give us 
Let's turn the machine on as well. Because why not, right? I mean, you can drive perfectly normal with it on, so... Let's keep doing that. I haven't really been paying too much attention to the soundtrack. Is it the same music all, o all the time, all over again? Or is it different songs and tunes? I'd wager that it's pretty much all the same, isn't it? It's probably imprinted deeply in my mind already. It was propaganda. Of Rando Media's superiority. Of at making games. Alright, now let's go with fuel. This should be e fairly easy to do. Actually, it would be easy if we reversed, though, wouldn't it? It sure would be, because we can reverse pretty damn quickly as well. Oh, come on. That's perfect. Maybe not. Beautiful. That'll do. So we lift this up. Now, yeah, supposedly everything's going to be working quicker with this guy. Because we've leveled them all up. Oh, wait. We've got to rotate clockwise. That makes sense. I guess it does load a little bit quicker. Maybe. Maybe that's just anecdotal. I don't really time it, though, do I? So I wouldn't have a clue. But it seems like it's going... A little bit quicker like filling up and going up and down and all that good stuff um so yeah experience is zero all we get is money for these random missions and to be honest it doesn't really help us out all that much like if we go over here and we upgrade vehicle all it helps us out is profits and the speeds so you could pretty much complete this whole mission or this whole game without upgrading your vehicles just once because they give you so much time to do all of this anyways let's go to the mission map and do this mission because it is a career mission oh here we go we're moving up in the world so we've got follow me power supplementation and snow clearance so we've got the snow clearance up first Maybe all the missions are pretty much like at the same time, like 10 to 15 minutes, but then they just throw like so many different objectives at us that it becomes difficult. Maybe. Maybe that's a little bit too optimistic. Probably. I'm very impressed with the way um, the NVIDIA Shadow Play works though. I, I can't believe I haven't been using it before. I feel very dirty for not being using it for a while now it's so much better than fraps so fraps used to be pretty much the standard to record games but over the last couple of years it's, they haven't even updated fraps so it's definitely been a good program while it lasted though for like thirty dollars definitely good value for money let me tell you thirty dollars you can record it pretty much anything on your computer screen or any game at least. Alright, that's beautifully done. There we go. And notice that we've actually done our job. Now let's go with this taxi. Thankfully this guy can drive a lot quicker though, so we can get things done much better. And quicker at that. And we are probably going to have to drive all the way along here. Drive to the corresponding aircraft. It's the same guy all the time. I guess he's the air traffic controller there, right? Would make sense. I actually like the minimap zoomed out. Which really reminds me of that iPhone game, which... Like, it's pretty amazing how quickly iPhone games, like, what, which ones are popular change. Because they used to be that one game... I can't remember what it's called, but you used to have to like drag the airplanes onto the um, airport to land. And, like you had to make sure they wouldn't crash and all of that stuff. It was like a very simple color scheme as well, but it was very um, appealing to the eyes. It was, it was like a very basic layout. It was really good. 
sure someone would remember that game and knows what I'm talking about. Um, where are we driving? We're driving over here to the right. So let's go do as they tell us. I'm kind of tempted to find out what happens when we miss one, but something tells me that we just have to drive back to it. And that would be a waste of time. And to be honest, I don't really want to be spending too much time on a game like this. Otherwise, my brain would well and truly turn to mush. But it seems like you guys like this, so... Uh, one of my biggest regrets was not continuing on um, Construction Simulator, like, as soon as I, um, could, like... Because I got the game, the first episode's really, really popular. Gets a ridiculous amount of views, and then... Because I didn't upload the second episode and, like, the third and fourth ones until heaps later. The series never really picked up, so... We should, hopefully... Well, it's a uh, good. I need to get a good work or a better work ethic into. Um, even, no matter how crap the game is or how bad I think it might be, it's always good to just do uh, complete games, especially like these ones. These weird and wacky simulators. So, let's go have a look at how this power supplementation works. Give the plane some juice, I guess. Yeah, I definitely can't reverse with trailers. That's probably everybody knows about that if you've watched my um, Euro Truck Simulator and all that. All right, now, here we go. So what do we do? Drag the electric plug into the slots. There we go. The aircraft is being charged. There's no charge meter though. All we can hear is this futuristic electrical sound. Beautiful. We have supplied the plane the juice. And no doubt we're going to level up again. That was level 10. Alright, current rank control officer. Beautiful. So we've got the shoot bus to 1000. The airport shuttle bus is used to move people between the terminal and aircraft. Okie dokes. Whatever you say. Um, let's get. No, we don't want that. We want. Yeah, yeah we'll go to the garage actually. Um, no, I wanted to go to the crew overview. Here we go. So, we've unlocked the ability to be a control officer. So, about halfway through the game now. We've unlocked, I guess, half of the vehicles. Let's see, we've got a passenger stair truck, snow blower, cargo loader, cargo transporter. Lots of cargo stuff very soon. We're the control officer now. Ultimately, of course, we want to be the operations director until there will be some DLC to a game like this. But, I can guarantee there won't be. I love the developers to prove me wrong though, uh, but until next time though guys, that'll be it for the third episode of Airport Simulator 2015. Leave a like if you did enjoy, if you didn't then be sure to tell me why, but until next time though guys, I'll see you later and thank you very much for watching.